Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a question that many Xamarin Forms developers encounter. Our viewer is seeking guidance on how to safely call an asynchronous method from a view model constructor. The question revolves around finding a straightforward example of implementing asynchronous initialization in a view model. The viewer has shared their code and is looking for validation on whether their approach is correct. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To call an asynchronous method from a view model constructor in Xamarin Forms, we need to implement a safe pattern. First, we will create an interface called IAsync Initialization. Next, we will implement this interface in our view model. In the constructor, we will call an asynchronous method to initialize our view model. Now, let's move to the code behind of the XAML page that uses this view model. We will also implement the IAsync initialization interface here. Finally, this pattern ensures that your view model is initialized asynchronously and safely, allowing you to handle any data fetching or setup without blocking the UI. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Instead of using the constructor or onAppearing method, consider using the fresh MVVM framework. You can override the init method to initialize your objects effectively. In my project, I use Autofac as an IOC container to initialize my view models. The loading process happens after Autofac creates the instance. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. This user shares their experience of avoiding MVVM frameworks in Xamarin DOM forms. Instead, they call their asynchronous initialization method from the XAML's appearing event using a behavior. They emphasize the importance of flexibility as frameworks can break with updates to Xamarin forms. This method allows for a clean and effective way to handle asynchronous operations in the view model. I hope that video helped to find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.